as it finishes uh, Chelsea 3, uh, Leeds United 2. Uh, let's welcome in, shall we? Nadam Anua is with us, as is Don Hutchinson. Uh, Nadam, you happy with all those penalties? Right decisions? Um, I think the one for Leeds, definitely. The, the first one for Chelsea, so-so, and then that last one. As Craig said, you know, you can see he's kicked him, but I think there's a subtle difference between, say, winning a penalty and seeing, like, a clear, clear foul. I think in that case, he's probably won a penalty. So I think as is the theme for today's show, he's one of those ones where it's given, but you're not thinking to yourself, well, that's an absolute stonewaller. But, you know, it's just the way it goes sometimes in football. Don? I thought all three were penalties. Um, the last one when Glick kicked out um, at Rudiger, as, as Craig said, I mean, when you're Bielsa tonight and you're analysing those games, you're analysing the penalties that you give away and two penalties you've given away against the centre-back, I mean, all you have to do is stay on your feet. It's not like Rudiger's going to wriggle away and fire one at the top corner. It was one of, their, one of those penalties and infringements where you've got to look at it two or three times and then Glick just catches him on the calf. So I was quite happy with those three pens. What happened to Chelsea being so solid at the back? So hard <clears> to break down. <laughs> Chelsea, uh, Thomas Tuchel got away with one today big time. They are not playing well. They are not playing well. They've lost their solidity. Uh, I don't know. Once again, Lukaku was on the bench. I know he's coming back off injury. Is there a problem? Mm -hmm. uh, because he's had time to get him in and get him up to speed again, or is he thinking about all the games coming up and he's trying to give him time? It's time that they don't really have. They need to get the strongest team out there again and they need to try and get some momentum because this was another poor performance and only ludicrously stupid decisions from Leeds allow Chelsea to take three points. Otherwise, they'd be sitting here even further off the league. And yeah. it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem more than a month ago we were saying, right, they're in control, the rest are playing catch-up, they're solid at the back, they've got some injuries, but they've shown they can overcome that. At the moment, they look really wobbly. Yeah. They do like, look really wobbly. And, uh, yeah, they're very, very lucky to take three points today. Because it's just consistent with what we've seen of Chelsea over the last couple of weeks, obviously against West Ham and the Champions League as well, Nadam, from a defence that we're all waxing lyrical about to one that looks, as Craig says, wobbly. Yeah, it certainly does look that way. And it came out of nowhere, as we said there. I think given the fact that they, I think they kept probably... 40% of their games have been clean sheets, maybe higher. So then all of a sudden see them conceding three against West Ham, see them conceding in the midweek in the Champions League, and even two here to a lead side that aren't exactly like full of confidence if you look at it. You know, it's a big surprise, but, you know, this is the nature of football, isn't it? You know, you can't really be that dominant for an entirety of a season. The things which have been good for them, there's no guarantee you'll be able to carry on throughout the year with that. And teams now, as they look at this, they'll be more encouraged. I think whoever goes up against them next they'll start to see little chinks in the armour and they'll be encouraged. They'll be thinking, well, this is what we need to do to give ourselves a chance. But the key thing is, as is always, you just have to be clinical. And I think for Leeds, they definitely were that today. And especially that second goal, the sort of injection of tempo and the way they delivered that to Chelsea, like, that's a, that's a sign. I think for teams who are going to be playing against them, obviously Chelsea is still a very, very good side. But it just shows, again, that no team's perfect. And every time we want to anoint a team as being the best at something, before you know it, they're brought back down to reality. Chelsea third favourites now, Don. Yeah, they are, done, And I think there's two or three things going on. Uh, Thomas Tuchel had a little argument with Andreas Christensen and he's saying his contract's on the table, all being agreed. Um, you know, he's talked the talk, walked the walk by signing the contract, he's saying, and he hasn't. Rudiger's been linked away with Bayern Munich wanting to pay him 400 grand a week in Real Madrid. I'm not sure where they're getting their money from. Then midweek, he played Saul on the left-hand side as a left wing-back. So he obviously is trying to fit Saul into that left-hand side because Chilwell's a miss as well. Then you take Kante and Kovacic out the side. You know, they are going to be a little bit weaker. And we're judging Chelsea by their standards. I think when you look back, you look back the last three or four years, Liverpool and Man City have been the standout teams. And Thomas Tuchel's first year in the Premier League, full full season in the Premier League, you can see they're just off the likes of Liverpool and City. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.